in this video we're going to be discussing how to use Lightburn and the different settings for origin and, and start positions uh, and also homing the machine and learning your position. Um, so one of the first things we can look at here in Lightburn is that there's this start from in the laser tab and you have an option of current position, um, user origin or absolute coordinates. The green dot will determine where your position is uh, on the, this is where your laser is going to be and where your start from position is. So the, the green dot's your start from position. So you can choose it to be wherever your laser is at in current position. It can be where there's an origin and origins you set up here. Or you can also have just absolute coordinates, which is just gonna go from the bottom uh, left of our machine because in Lightburn we have the front of the machine set to uh, the bottom left. Notice that when we do current position, um, you can change where it's going to be by the job origin. The job origin in this case is the center, and in some cases you can put it at the bottom left. I know a lot of people like to set their job origin to the bottom left. You can do top right. So all these radio buttons will determine where you start from in the in your um, in your job. So we're going to go and figure out um, how to to do each one of these and go through it a little bit more detail. All right. So the first one we're going to talk about is current position. This is the one I recommend using uh, most of the time. Uh, it's very similar to the way that you use your spindle um, to place your spindle at your zero location um, and start from there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to just write hello. And we're going to see that this is um, about two inches by 0.7. I'm going to take this and do 1.5 inches just to make it a little bit smaller. And you can go in the cut tab. You can see we're just going to do an outline. I'm going to change the speed on this to 80 and 80. We're just going to do a quick little thing here. Um, and only one number and one pass. So, all right. Now look and see where you can see that the, the green dot here is on the bottom left. And so if I go to the move tab and I move my laser around, um, it's going to start on the bottom left there. Um, we can, there's already a little hello there, but I'm going to go maybe, let's go above that other hello. And we're going to say right here. Um, and we're going to fire the laser in low power. You can see that's the spot, spot where it's going to start, that little spot there. And then what we can do then is press frame with our, and hold down our shift key, and it's going to frame it out. That's exactly where it's going to go. And if I press start now, it's going to say it's out of bounds possibly because we haven't um, because we don't have the machine, machine position set up yet. So we're just going to say yes because we already framed it. We already know that it's fine. So it's going to do the hello there. All right, so we can move out of the way and we can see that there's a, a faint hello there, but it's there. Um, and that was positioned right where it started, right where we wanted it to. Obviously, we can start in the center, and um, we can start in the top left. So depending on where you have it, that's where it's going to start. So just know to line up your material based on where that job origin position is. Um, a quick trick for the current position is if you want to reference it to something else, let's say you want to um, reference it to a piece of wood. Let's say you're putting uh, like a cutting board or a plaque or something like that you can go and turn this into a different layer. So I just gave a piece of wood. Let's say, what do we have this piece of wood? Let's make it like 10 inches by 10 inches. And we have to unlock it to do that. So I'm gonna make it 10 inches by 10 inches. I'm gonna relock it. Now, so here's my piece of wood. I'm gonna put that in a different layer. Let's choose one of these layers down here. Let's, let's just choose this blue one. That's, that's a nice layer. And what I can do now, you see now that it's referencing down in the bottom of this position on the board. So. That could be any anything you want, just you know any board that you want. And what you can go here is that you don't want to actually do both of these. You don't want to have it. Oh, so let's go to a line on that one too. You don't want to have that be do a line on the outline of your board and do the hello. Um, you want it to just do the hello. So you want to take this output and turn the output off. You see how it then goes and it has the shade that that 
that says it's not going to actually do that part. It's just going to do the hello. And you can then position this hello anywhere on the board. Let's say if you want to have it on the top of this little board here. Now you can go down and let's say let's say it's this piece of wood here or something like that. Let's um let's say you want to reference this the bottom left of this piece of wood. So then you basically go down and set your bottom down here and you can line it up, fire the laser, and you can line it up so that it's perfectly on the edge of that board. I'm just going to move the board. And so now we're like right on the edge of that board. Obviously, I'd be a little bit better and line it up so it's straight and everything like that. But that's on the edge of that board and it's going to draw this hello all the way up on the top left. Um, in this case, maybe I want to just have it like kind of look over here. Um, and let's just see, let's just actually frame this out and see where that's going to go. So, so that's going to put it right there at the bottom piece of that board, but not on the corner. So if I run that one now, it's also going to say out of bounds, but I know it's not. So it's going to do that hello based on the corner of that board instead of the corner of the hello. So those are kind of a couple cool tricks we can do to um, use the current position and orient your material so that you get it perfectly where you want it to be. I sometimes really like to have it, um, let's see, have the this be in the center because you really can figure out where the center of your board is. Um, a lot of times you can figure out where that center of your board is very easily and then, and then put it right in the center. Especially helps if you're doing like a coaster or something like that. So finding the center of a circle is a little bit easier. So, All right, now after we did the current position, now we're gonna move on to doing um, the, the next one. Okay, so now we're going to talk about homing and uh, using absolute coordinates for starting your laser. Um, so we're going to switch this over here to absolute coordinates. You can see that to start from down here it changes it to absolute coordinates and, and it will basically have the um, green dot move down to the left here. So it's all the way down the left. You can see when you put it to coordinate position, it goes up back to the hello, absolute coordinates. Now we're down left because that's where we decided our um, machine center or our, our machine origin would be. Um, it's normally always in the front left because um, it's up in here. Your machine origin is right here. So where is the front left? Um, so up here in the move tab, there's a little picture of a house that says home. Um, and we're going to press that. We have limit switches on this machine here. So we're just going to press home. Um, it's going to do the Z first. This is JRBL. So you can see it's going to do the Z's first. It's going to hit it once and it's going to go off of it and move. And then the X and Y will happen by itself uh, or both at the same time. Um, we're going to hit the X switch first, it looks like. And it holds it and waits for it to hit the Y switch. And we just hit it and it backs off. And it says that's home. Now notice that um, when we get our position here, it says it's negative 78.85, negative 7.835, and negative 0.039. Um, that's because light burn has the zero 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 position where you start light burn from. We were in the middle of the board, so that's where it thinks zero zero is. So after we homed it, it's now negative. So in this case, um, we are going to um, restart light burn then. So that way, when we restart it, it's going to have the zero 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 where our machine is physically sitting there um, so it's sitting at home position which is zero 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 which is good that's what we want and it will start up let's see if it's going to start up there it goes and it's going to have now get position is zero 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 um, and that's now how you home your machine so you first have to hit the homing switches that physically has to get there, and then you have to restart light burn to get it in zero, zero, zero. All right, now that we have it at zero, zero, um, 
the position up here is zero, zero, zero. Note that the Z is up at the zero position. Limit switches for Zs are typically on the top of the, um, the, the Z axis. So if you want, I'm gonna have to move mine back down to get the eighth of an inch. So mine's about one and a half inches. Um, if you don't want it to go all the way back up when you are doing your, um, your engraving, you're going to need to disable this z-axis. So if you have it enabled, it's going to try to move the z-axis all the way up to zero. Um, in that case, I'm just going to disable mine so it can go over to the right place. Um, there are offsets you can put in there, but that's a whole other video. Um, so now if we press frame, it's going to make the reference based off of this green dot in the corner. So in this case, it looks like it's about, uh, about four inches by four inches. So you actually have to physically measure it um, to be positioned where you want it to be. So four inches is going to be about there and oops sorry and four inches is going to be about there so it looks like it's going to start somewhere right um right there so if we go and press frame it's going to start yeah right about four inches my four inches off that corner now we can send it back to zero you can say go to zero so now it's going to go back to zero and when i press start it should now um, engrave at that four inch by four inch this is really good if you um have a uh a something that you want to do over and over and over again and you want to have it so that you can set the exact same position every time you do this engraving so let's say you have a, a particular um, cutting board or something that you want to make a million of you can set it for absolute coordinates and have it have a jig or something where you put it in the same position every time and it's referenced from this corner down in the bottom so i mean if you moved it over so if we move this up a little bit you can see that it now it's going to go and it's going to move and now we're up above that one. So you can see that that's, um, that's basically how um, absolute coordinates go, uh, go. It's just based off that corner position, wherever your home is. In this particular case, it's this green dot in the corner here for us. And it will um, basically do uh, wherever you have it on this grid. And note the absolute coordinates. See, we, I don't know if I mentioned that. We've changed it to absolute coordinates here. So it's absolute coordinates and it's based off of the reference position for home. All right, now that we've done absolute coordinates, we can you go move on to user origin. It's going to be the middle one here in the drop down. Um, you're going to notice, and let's put a little hello here. Hello. Um, what it does is it changes it from the bottom corner to the basically kind of similar to current position where it's going to start at that bottom left of that hello. Um, and then we can go to the move tab and we can move over onto the board where we want it to start from. Let's say we want to start from there. Now we have to press set origin. So this is the position we're gonna see is 4.5 and six inches. So it's gonna be about 4.5 and six inches. I'm gonna say set origin. And we're gonna frame it out and you're gonna see that it goes, let's see, frame. It's gonna go right there. And that's where we want it to be. We can also set a finish position if we wanted to. Let's set a finish position right there. And we're gonna frame it out. It's gonna go back to the main one. And so this is where it's gonna start every time that we have it if we want to. Um, just note, if you don't have the right coordinates up here in terms of the numbers, um, you might need to go to the console and change a couple values. Um, I know dollar sign $13 um, needs to be equal to zero in this particular case, and that's going to report it in inches. Um, so just make sure that you have these all right. If you don't have these all right, it's going to really kind of go wonky. So we're going to frame this out, and we're going to see that it's going to go right going to go right to this position there so we can see that it's going to go right there so when it starts it will start from that position and it's going to burn right there and every time now since i have it all figured out where the start the user origin is every time i press start it's going to start that exact same position no matter where it is so it's finishing there we can move it all the way over here let's say we can take it out move the 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 piece and if i press start again since it, that origin's still there like let's say i put a new um coaster or something in there if i press start again sure enough it's going to go right back to the exact same spot and do that hello again so that's really good if you have something that you want to do multiple things of and you want to be moving the machine around and you want to uh, burn multiple things. Um, it's really good uh, for, for that particular occasion. Other things, current position will just work all the time. There's a lot of ways that this can go wrong. It took about 15 takes to get that to go right, it seemed, because I didn't have my X and Y coordinates all set up correctly. You have to have your unit set up correctly. Um, 
in order for it to work. So hopefully you've learned about uh, using current position, our favorite way to use Lightburn, um, and how to set it up with reference positions. Uh, and also hopefully you learned a little bit about absolute coordinates in homing your machine and also user origin. Um, if you have any questions, give us a call uh, or email at us at customerservice at jtechphotonics.com. And as always, there's information at jtechphotonics.com uh, on the website. And check out the Facebook group, uh, the JTech Facebook group, um, for help with the community. All right, thanks.